XTC are three guys from Swindon, which is someplace in England. Like the rest of us, though, they find it hard to muster even a yawn for what's happening on the UK pop scene right now. It's just eating itself alive at the moment, waiting for something to happen. It's just uh, bored out of its tiny little box. And so, after nearly 10 years in the pop trenches, XTC have become a big deal of a sort right here in the States, where their last album, Skylarking, brought them as close to stardom as you can get in this country without actually becoming rich. And has all this college radio renown gone to their heads? We really like to be comfy, you know, we like to go home and play wild games of checkers. <laughs> Yes, that's the ugly truth about XTC. They're bookworms and homebodies. They haven't even toured since 1982, although you probably caught them in their last video for Dear God, a song addressed to a deity that frontman Andy Partridge obviously considers a delusion. The Dear God clip really boosted XTC's pop stock, but the making of videos, as it turns out, isn't something that much appeals to them either. It's good fun when you get lots of input. It's not so much good fun when you kind of just get poked about and sort of... <laughs> You know, go and stand over there, loves. We'll be with you in a minute. Go and stand by the huge exploding jock strap over there. I see it now. It's a concept. Even record making was getting on their nerves for a while there. But this time out, they're working with producer Paul Fox, an experience they seem to be relishing, rather more than their last LP, which was masterminded by pop god Todd Rundgren. It's just not like being herded into a musical gas chamber and having it beaten out of you. Yes, this next LP could turn out to be the one that really puts XTC over in a big way. They've been working on it in Los Angeles since May, and they appear to have more cool tunes than they know what to do with. It's a song about um, what would happen if scarecrows admired human beings and admired all the wrong things in human beings, like... Uh, the fact they maltreat the land, you know, uh, barbed wire, bad food, um, all the kind of grotty stuff. Will this ninth LP be a hit back in the band's native England? By this point, that hardly seems to matter. The, the scene goes so quickly in England. You know, like one week you're in, next week, pah. So, you know, you can imagine we're like 11 years and 51 weeks out of date. So uh, uh, England has, has largely forsaken us and uh, America's suddenly clicked here and people are interested in what we do so I, I feel you know America is our future bride please be outstanding for the mayor of Simpleton please be upset well XTC's new album will be out in January and two of their earlier LPs English Settlement and Big Express have just been re-released on CD